Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I recently made a video, which I never thought would be popular, but apparently it was, on common sense. We've all grown up with sayings about common sense, and of course everybody loves to say, well, common sense isn't that common. And uh, nobody actually ever thinks about what it actually refers to. And um, Aristotle was actually the first person to make reference uh, to common sense, and uh, he was talking about what is innate, actually. We could actually, you know, go to the Greek term koina, talk about what is common. There's two different types of common, by the way. Um, there's the common, which is uh, innate, and uh, we could either say it's genetic or inherent to uh, the DNA of uh, a particular species, whether that be, you know, man or animal, because birds and other animals, we know we have, uh, they have uh, these innate characteristics to know towards, like turtles when they hatch out of the beach, to head uh, towards the waters as quickly as they can so they won't be gobbled up by birds. All sorts of um, innate genetic things and the word of course should be innate when we actually say common we're not in making reference and by the way the ancient Pali term uh, patugina which is uh, incorrectly translated as common is also the same word for profane and it is the case of that which is common is also that which is profane because you know the primordial attribute of living beings is ignorance but when making reference to common sense, and I'm getting to the point very, very directly here, not into word etymology as much as you think, is we're talking about what is innate. And there's a reason why humans, even though we have a capacity for great uh, intellectual awareness and some of us have a capacity and desire for seeking wisdom, that we don't have uh, what is within every person, that which is innate. Uh, People cover it up because they live in echo chambers. People that you know are into one thing will surround themselves with other people that believe the same BS that they do. And these people all believe one variety of nonsense or the other. And what they do is they uh, kind of like cults and you know religious sects. They re they all mutually reinforce their crazy little beliefs and delusions. And what this uh, does is it actually covers up what is innate. So when we say common sense, we're talking about what is inherently innate to the human being. But there's a two-sided sword to a living being's capacity for greater intellectual uh, um, awareness uh, and capacity for understanding the natural world. And of course, there's not too many people like that anymore, unfortunately. There was never a whole lot of them, but there's a whole lot less compared to the number of creatures that are alive today, human beings, that is, two-legged human beings, even though there's billions and billions of people on Earth, uh, per million people, the, the people that actually have an innate knowledge uh, as to nature is far, far less than it was when, you know, there's only a few million people on Earth. It'd be like one per thousand people, and now it's like one per 500 million people, and that's really astonishingly bad. We think we're so advanced because we have technology and computers and iPads and iPhones, but that's mere empirical knowledge. And uh, there are people today, and actually let's talk about common sense, because people don't have common sense anymore, but when I say common sense, and how we like to refer to the term or the saying, in connotation, like, that guy doesn't have any damn common sense. You know he's outside in the cold and the rain and he doesn't have a jacket on. We're talking about what is innate knowledge that doesn't require mental processing. And the reason for that is that there's actually several reasons for that. Uh, we're actually, uh, unfortunately, uh, breeding a lot of uh, people that just don't have the capacity to uh, link to what is innate to them. And of course, nature uh, takes care of creatures like that through uh, natural selection. But human beings, being the compassionate, compassionate creatures that we are, we unfortunately, uh, you know, uh, give great support to things that Mother Nature wouldn't necessarily carry on. But that's only a limited spectrum of the reason why uh, people don't have common sense anymore, is that everybody now now more so than ever. We're all living in our own little cubby hole with our computers and we're only watching and agreeing with the stuff that we want to. We, it becomes a, uh, 
a Mobius loop of self-reinforcing stupidity. Like someone that doesn't have common sense anymore. Every animal on Earth, whether they, they have claws or fangs, you know, or not, um, you know, they have some sort of a method of self This is only one aspect of common sense. They know innately, without mental processing, to defend themselves and defend like their little younglings, right? Like even a bird that doesn't have any damn teeth. And I've been attacked by a goose before because I got too close to its eggs. And, you know, they can really put a wallop on you. Even though they have no teeth and they don't really have claws, they kind of have little claws on the ends of their little feet. But that is innate to them. And human beings, they don't have that anymore. I, I see people that don't believe in self-defense. People don't believe... They don't have any connection, which is what is within them. It is within them, but it is so buried by decades of uh, dogma, brainwashing, foolish poppycock, um, indoctrination, that, it, it, that uh, it's been so bleached out of their inherent nature that it, it still lies within them. But they're completely clueless. Um, these people, what they are, of course, and you know what I'm talking about, you can't disagree with me, All, everybody today is living in a little freaking bubble, an echo chamber, they don't know how the world works. What they've done is they've covered up within themselves what is innate. An understanding about this is how the world works, you know? Uh, fundamentally, you know, even a completely person that never went to school, completely illiterate, um, you know, may have a lot of uh, wisdom. You can actually be an incredibly dumb person, have no empirical knowledge, but be an incredibly uh, wise person. There are people that, you know, they can't read, read or write. I've met a few people like this, but, you know, they can build stuff and invent. I mean, they will knock your socks off at how uh, wise they are and how they can construct and do things. It's uh, quite fascinating. And they have that within themselves. Like, you wouldn't even ask someone that has common sense, and by common sense, of course, I mean innate sense. You know, primordial instincts, like an animal would have. You attack an animal... Or, you know, you get too close to its little younglings, you know, it's going to whip out its claws and its fangs and it's going to go after you. And that is the way of nature. Human beings, and of course that's a double-edged sword of uh, intellectual capacity, is that human beings have the ability of so much uh, self-manipulation, usually for bad, that they wash that out of their system. But it's always within them innately. There are people that literally don't believe in defending themselves and their family. There are people that believe some of the craziest, and of course we are not our beliefs, as I've said a thousand thousand million times, we are not our beliefs. They believe any variety of poppycock and absurdity. It's like anybody with any, you know, a half a brain would never say something like that. They've been brainwashed and they surround themselves with other people that believe in the same poppycock and hogwash and piddle paddle nonsensical. <clears throat> These people can't engage in a logical argument, a debate. And by the way, there are no uh, there are no authorities in a formal debate. Only experts and novices. I mean, as a recent example, all these. You know, these brain-dead mental midgets talking about abolishing the police. Well, that's a great idea there. Well, it's actually a horrible idea. You know, what are you going to replace it with? Like social workers and... Uh, <laughs> it's like, you don't even know how the world... I mean, not, you know, not that I'm talking to one of these people. It's like, you don't even know how the world works. What are you going to do? you got a, a bank robber or, you know, some, you know, masked thug in your house... You know what you're going to do? Are you going to call up a number and ask for a social worker visit? I mean, what sort of... See, that would be common sense. You know, somebody that actually has a lick of common sense, as I say in this, like, you ain't got a lick of common sense, boy. Um, no, one would, no one would even dream of thinking something like that, much less, you know, advocating for it. Wait, we need to abolish all Oh, how's that going to work when crime goes down? Well, we haven't figured that out yet. Maybe we call a social worker. <laughs> <clears throat> so, we have to talk about what is common. Like I said, there's two types of common. I need to restate it. What is common, was, which is profane. By profane, I mean inherent agnosis. You know, it's base, it's low, it's vile. 
kind of like uh, the most uh, fundamentally horrific uh, attributes of humanity, which you're supposed to rise above. You're supposed to um, raise yourself up out of the muck, kind of like the lotus flower out of the muck in the, the pond there. And there's the other type of common, which is to do what is right, to, uh, to emulate uh, what nature would do. Kind of like a dumb animal. You know, a dumb animal never went to school. It never learned how to read or write. And it doesn't know how to add one and one. But it knows how to take care of itself. You know, it knows how to defend itself. It has within it that which is innate to uh, perpetuate its existence so that it could, uh, you know, fulfill... Uh, you know, the, the contract that that living being has with nature, which is to follow nature and what nature dictates. Human beings don't, I mean, look at me, I'm fat, right? Because I'm, you know, part of me is not following it either. Um, you know, you don't see animals out in the wild, you know, like, you know, eating uh, potato, and I don't eat potato chips, by the way. You know, eating potato chips <laughs> and watching uh, reruns on TV and getting fat and, you know, you're, you're violating what is innate to nature, or what we would call common sense, but what is innate sense. That human beings are self-destructive, we're, we're eating and consuming poison, we're creating a, a high band 5G networks which are poison. Human beings are literally have the innate within them so buried, you know, from uh, from what and who they are by brainwashing, indoctrination, more brainwashing, groupthink. Nothing true is popular, nothing popular is true, by the way. Um, it is amazing to me how many people today have such meager amounts of innate sense. They don't believe in self-preservation, they're poisoning themselves, you know, uh, they're killing themselves. Not consciously, but subconsciously, and, and it's a uh, it's uh, count countless watermarks of a of a sick culture. This technology, you know, that we have all these neat little electronic gadgets and stuff, you know, that 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 doesn't make us better. It, it doesn't. It makes life easier, but. Uh, So when I talked about common sense, people say, well, common sense isn't that. I'm talking about what is innate, and everybody has that within them. Um, a very, very, very few human beings don't, and uh, they are people that nature would choose for uh, natural deselection. Talk about natural selection? It should be called natural deselection. And, you know, that's how nature works. It, uh, it puts out many experiments out there, and, you know, what does not work you know, gets eliminated, natural selection. But because human beings are uh, crafty little critters, you know, we, uh, we've we uh, kind of cut ourselves out from the natural selection of, uh, of nature. But nature will eventually correct that. No matter what we do, build bunkers underground or go under, nature will fix that. It always does fix it, and it will fix it. And... Uh, the the biggest earmark we could say the Kali Yuga the biggest earmark of the Kali Yuga but forget the Kali the biggest earmark of of stupidity and how perverse human beings have gotten is that some of you know the few of us is, that still have uh, you know wisdom and innate sense like we're having arguments about things that we should never be argued about you know about uh, Freedoms of speech, the freedom to defend your own life and that of your family, the, you know, the common uh, innate uh, premise that uh, you know we we have to have a uh, you know law enforcement officers it's like you know you're not going to call a social worker when someone's robbing the bank, or you know like you know got somebody cornered in the back alley like you know with a mask on, you know that's it's not a and this is what happens when we live in an isolated uh, world. And everybody today in the Western world, especially in the Western world, but really all over the world, we're all living in our own little freaking house bunkers, you know, regurgitating, you know, the stuff that we believe in and surrounding ourselves with other fools that believe in the same foolishness that we believe. So it's just this sick, 
sick reinforcing delusion. It's kind of like evil people. I don't want to mention which group, but they're a group of people that believe in doing evil things to young people. I think you can know what I'm talking about. And they love to get together because they know inherently that that is evil. It's extremely evil. But what they'll do is these evil people will congregate, you know, as one example, you know, and reinforce each other. Yeah, I'm doing evil, but you're doing it too, so it can't be that evil. Yeah, I'm doing the same evil that you're doing. Yeah, it's not so bad. We all agree we like to do that. It's like, no, you're all evil. So, that was like a finer definition of common sense. And by common sense, I mean innate sense. But people have buried what is innate within them by living in glass bubbles and surrounding ourselves with other, you know, sycophantic uh, losers that believe in the same garbage that we believe in, whatever sort of weird delusion or delusion or desire that is that, uh, you know, lights the fires of our, you know, desires. People, unfortunately, are, this is a, this is a, the society isn't all completely sick, but it is really sick. We should not be sitting around fighting with fellow citizens of the world about what should be common sense, you know, like defending the innocent and, uh, you know, defending our own selves and our family. Animals know this without thinking at all. Animals never think or debate this stuff among them. Because it is innate. It is natural law. Survival, self-sufficiency, self-defense. That is natural law. But, oh, but no. To talk about that kind of stuff among stupid human beings is like heresy. And it shouldn't be. That is a proof that humanity is really deep in the pit. A really deep, dark pit. It's like we scoff at natural law. We make fun of stupid animals, you know, licking their buttholes over there. There's that dog licking his butt over there. What a dumb animal. But that dumb dog knows about self-sufficiency, feeding itself, and defending itself. But you, you dumb human being, you know, <laughs> you're worse than the dog. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>